here is the new book that we're going to start on stream. It's called Introduction to Algorithms. Uh, the authors Corman, uh, Lacerson, Rivest, and Stein. Uh, this is the fourth edition of the book. Um, and my understanding is that it has the fourth edition has added some new new pieces um, that are kind of useful. And so this is what I want to do. Um, I've never ever taken an algorithms course. Like I don't have a f formal programming background. So uh, this should be incredibly useful. So it looks like there's a few sections in the book. Uh, first is like foundations, um, things like characterizing uh, runtime and uh, asymptotic notation. And then it goes into like uh, divide and conquer algorithms and um, things like this. Then we do a bunch of sorting. And then we talk about data structures. Uh, including trees and hash tables. And then we do advanced design and analysis techniques. So there's like uh, dynamic programming, greedy algorithms, amortized analysis. And then there's uh, advanced data structures like B trees, disjoint sets, which is pretty interesting. Then some graph algorithms. And then there's like um, a special topic section with parallel algorithms, online algorithms, uh, linear programming, matrix operations, um, FFTs, um, fast Fourier transforms, which would be cool. Um, number theoretic algorithms. I don't know what that means yet. Uh, machine learning, NP complete list, completeness, uh, and approximation. And then there's some like mathematical background. So technically this book is about 1100 and I don't know, some odd pages. And uh, yeah, I think it should be really fun and very interesting. So um, how are we going to like work on this book? Uh, I'm going to implement everything in Rust. And so I have basically a, um, a Rust project here with um, tests and also benchmarks. So just quickly, let me show off how I decided to set up the tests. I basically found a blog post and... Um, that was able to explain how I should do this. So, oops. So on the left is like the code that we would write. And um, let, just as an example, we wrote like a public function and a private function. And then on the right here is how we would test these things. So you can just like, I don't know, use this funny module syntax that I'm not super familiar with and uh, we can we can write our tests so this should allow us to write tests for every chapter and then we can just do a cargo test and like make sure everything works uh, not entirely sure why we're compiling at this current point in time but hopefully that will run here in a second and then um i also have this on the right side here the remarkable which allows me to like uh, document things in real time so uh, i can use the remarkable to like just keep notes and um that's pretty nice i'm just going to close this for now because we're kind of done with it uh the other thing i set up was a benchmark section so that i could like try and understand how to do that and uh i here i just have like this silly like head function uh and what i was trying to make sure is is this constant time and so I, I wrote this little benchmark that allows you to, to test various things and um, determine that. So you can run uh, with this, you can run cargo bench, and then it will like run the benchmarks. And uh, this takes a little bit of time as well. But it will run the benchmarks, and we could do, I don't know, size complexity analysis or some other analysis that we may want to do. Uh, I have no idea what's going to come up in the book or like what um, we can test with this tool uh, criterion. So it'll be really interesting to like to explore that stuff. Um, Cause now I don't want to just like write the code that's in the book. Um, I want to think about it and like understand a bit more about how to, to how to analyze my code. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about this cause these are like so fast that it's hard to, it's probably hard to get good statistics on them. Okay, so the next question you might ask is, uh, why Rust? Um, basically, 
uh, mainly because this is like a Haskell stream most times. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I wanted a language that had static types, uh, pattern matching, uh, but it had like an imperative uh, escape hatch, right? Um, a lot of the algorithms that we're going to do in this book are going to be um, pretty suitable to writing Rust code. So um, it would make more sense to do this than Haskell. I think if we tried to do this in Haskell, we would get stuck in like uh, weird worlds with uh, wild recursion and um, horrible state management. Um, but that could be interesting too, and we may look into that in the future. But for now, we're just going to try and learn some of the basics and then um, do it in Rust. So we'll learn a little bit about Rust as well. So yeah, that's Introduction to Algorithms. Uh, I'm going to start it on uh, basically tomorrow, which is um, Friday, June 24th. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out.